In this video, we're gonna write our first C -sharp script to make the ball move. In order to do that, I will create a new folder called Scripts. Inside of the folder, right click and create a new C -sharp script. Call this one Player Controller. And in the Inspector panel on the right, you can see the preview of the file. You can see some lines of code, but you cannot edit here. To start writing the code, double click on the file and it will be opened in Visual Studio. Of course, you need it to install Visual Studio first if you haven't already. Unity Hub might already install that for you because it is included by default between the packages. Alright, once you have the C -sharp file, you're gonna see something like this. Let me explain what's happening here. At the very top, it imports some default libraries. Just underneath, the player controller class starts. Notice that the class name is exactly the same with the file name we just typed. So this is an important issue. If you want to change the file name in the future, you may also want to change the class name here just to prevent confusions. Inside of the class, there are two built-in methods, start and update. They are explained with the comments. So, for example, it's saying start is called before the first frame, which means whatever I am going to write between these brackets will be called just once when the scene is loaded in the beginning. Update, however, is called in every frame. Say we are building a game 30 FPS, so there are gonna be 30 frames per second. That means the lines here are going to be looped 30 times in a second. Okay, come back to Unity and move this C -sharp file onto the sphere object. In that way, Unity combines that the file with that object, and you can also see from the inspector panel it's added as a component. The other way of doing this is by clicking Add Component directly here and search for Script. Name it and click Create. Either way works, use the one you feel most comfortable. With that being said, every object has a rigid body in order to interact with the other objects. Rigid body component handles the most of the physics stuff, such as velocity, mass, gravity, etc. Get component is a general function to get a component from the object to use it in script. If you type rigid body here, you can get the rigid body component. We will add that component in a minute. Let's define the RB variable up here. I'm gonna make it private and the type will be rigid body. Now that we have the rigid body of the player, we can use it in the script. In the update function, for example, I can say rb.addForce and let's give 10 for x, 0 for z, and 10 for y. f represents that they are float values. Okay, let's get back to Unity and hit play. We got an error, and it's saying there is no rigid body in the sphere object. So we need to add that rigid body component, right? You can just click here, add component, and search for rigid body. Now hit play again. Did you see that? The ball just moved. But it was too fast, so let's decrease the speed. We can decrease the force down to 1. And yeah, we just learned how to add a force and move the object. One more thing to notice here, since the sphere has a rigid body, it is affected by gravity but it doesn't fall down because it is also interacting with the ground. You can see it goes down just after the plane object. 